What are some huge green flags that are often overlooked? When someone is quick to give credit and slow to place blame. Such a great sign that someone will celebrate other people and appreciate slash acknowledge them and will be really kind and benevolent when something bad happens. When someone is quick to give credit and slow to place blame. This has worked really well for me in my career. As programmers we deal with a lot of complexity, confusion, and not well written legacy software. It's easy to make mistakes without realizing it right away, and some things are complex enough that none of us grasp the entirety of them. Immediately blaming someone else, when there's a failure often backfires, because it could have been your past mistake that's only manifesting itself now. There are plenty of cases where fixing one bug causes another bug to surface, and it could be mine. So I'm very slow to assign blame to anyone, unless, as slash you slash Din says, I realize that it's truly my mistake, then I'm happy to say it was mine. I always like to give credit where it's due, because we have difficult jobs and everyone can use the recognition. I found that the people who steal credit from others are usually less competent. That the person is actually listening to you. I was seeing a guy recently, and I told him I was feeling anxious about something. We spent 5 minutes having a sort of argument about whether I should be anxious about this situation. Then he stopped talking and said this clearly isn't working. Let's try it differently and ask me to start the conversation again. I was a bit confused, but the second time instead of arguing he asked me questions about how I was feeling and why. I really opened up and realized some things I hadn't thought of before. That's a good listener. He sounds like someone who can adapt, improvise, adapt, overcome. This is something I've been struggling with a lot recently. People used to tell me that I was a good listener and could remember even minor things very well. Now that I have a new job with long shifts, I noticed I find it hard to listen to people and even have to suppress an aggressiveness I didn't used to have. This makes it a little easier for me to understand other people that react aggressively when being talked to after a long shift, but I'm kinda worried I might lose this quality of mine. I have a cow walker that is very good at listening. She will stop what she is doing and shift her entire body posture to listen to you and maintain eye contact. Not those talking to you, while on their phones or computer screen, and don't even know, if you can hear them. Honesty early on. When my husband and I started dating, I told him how much I wanted to see a certain movie, and for one of our first dates, he invited me over to watch said movie, and said he'd make dinner for me. I was a little nervous to go, because I figured he'd meant watch a movie. I get inside, he's got pasta cooking, and the movie is all set up, and ready on his TV. We ate, terrible, pasta, watched a movie, and that was the day I decided to keep seeing him, but that I'd do the cooking. When they show genuine interest in you, or what you're doing, they listen to you go on and on about shit they don't care about, and don't understand, because they know you enjoy talking about it. One of my good friends is in a new relationship, after being single for the last 4 years or so. Holy hell it's all he ever talks about now, and the guy talks a lot. It used to be all fishing, hunting and stuff like that. That being said I listen, because has never been happier in my opinion. Has never been an emotional guy, but he's getting there now which tells me he really really likes her. I'm stoked for him, even though it means I never see him anymore. My best friend recently got into her first relationship, and it's the same scenario lol. It's 99% of what she talks about, but I love seeing her so happy. It feels good knowing they're truly happy. He was never in a bad place, but seeing him raise himself to an even better place is awesome. My boyfriend will sometimes be upset and start a sentence with well you, and then takes a second and starts over with I feel. I notice every time and I try and be the same way. Learns the small things about you. Admitting when they don't understand something and asking questions about it until they do. A few years ago I was at a party with a friend of mine and another friend of a friend who is a physicist who worked for a startup that produced specialized magnets for quantum computing. My friend asked the startup guy about his work and he explained it and everybody else in the room just nodded and acted like they knew what he was talking about but she said, I don't understand. 
can you explain that a different way? And he did. And then she kept asking questions for quite a while. And by the end of it, we actually all did understand what his company did instead of just being polite and pretending we did. And it was super interesting. A couple of people thanked her afterward basically for having the self-confidence to admit she didn't have any clue what he was talking about and not being afraid it would make her look dumb because the rest of us were all content to pretend we knew instead of actually taking the initiative to find out. I respected her so much for that. Someone reading a book you recommend. That's commitment of free time and respect for your word. To add to this listening to songs, watching TV shows slash movies, or playing games you recommend also. Also, someone reading a book. People doing kind or generous things they don't expect praise for, like secret gifts or acts of service. When they don't make you feel guilty for occasionally wanting to do things by yourself. Edit. Thanks for the silver. My guy practically kicks me out of the house the few times I've mentioned wanting to go, do something with friends or just myself. It's so refreshing from my past relationships. My girlfriend. Can I go up to X's apartment and drink wine and watch a movie? Me. Why are you asking me? I'm not your dad dear god yes Geo. Edit. X was an unfortunate variable name to use here. Missed opportunity to answer I don't know. Can you? He just said he's not her dad. Hi, not her dad. I'm dad. Good communication. If you can communicate really well with someone, that is huge. Quality communication between two people can be way more important in a relationship than compatibility and is huge part of good chemistry. For example, one of my friends has gone on a couple dates with this one girl and the first date they talked for 3 hours and the second date they talked for 4 hours, but he's not sure if he wants to see this girl again. Like what? My boyfriend actually wasn't great at communication when we first met, and I had just gotten out of a relationship where the communication was very bad, so I was determined to teach myself how to communicate well with someone, and he eventually leaned into it and decided he wanted to learn how to communicate along with me. Now several years later we are so good at communicating. We never fight, and if we do get into a disagreement, we are really good at communicating our way into a good place pretty quickly. Someone being willing to learn how to communicate is good too. A lot of times people don't know how to do it from the get go, but if they are willing to learn, that can make all the difference. Edit. Just wanted to say thanks for my first silver. I don't know why I'm this excited about a pointless award, but I'm very very excited right now. Double edit. And the gold I totally get the appeal of these awards now. Complimenting others behind their backs. Alongside that, defending others who aren't there to defend themselves, even when the rest of the group is nodding along with whatever behind their back insult has been brought up. Treating people you don't have to treat respectfully, with respect. I'm currently an Uber Eats driver and I've found the huge contrast in the manner hospitality staff treat me when I'm picking up orders, compared to when I'm a customer. It seems because I'm not a paying customer, service staff seem to think it's okay to treat me like shit or a lesser individual. It's funny how people always say you can judge people on how they treat treat service staff, but when it's the other way around, it's all good. When someone can admit they're wrong. Edit. My first silver. Thank you anonymous redditor. Being okay to tell you that they're nervous or scared. If a guy tells me he's either nervous or scared of something it usually means that they like to enough to be vulnerable and open up about how they feel. Usually guys get made fun of for being nervous and even more so for being scared, but I see it as a total green flag. When you're not afraid to disagree with them, because you know they'll actually listen, rather than just hurting you. Edit. Thanks for the gold and silvers, kind strangers. This is super important, and I try really hard to keep it in mind. Too many of my friends, while they have a whole ton of good qualities, I'm afraid to disagree with them about certain things, because I know it's going to turn into a huge bust up. I'm very glad I found this thread, it's helping break the rose colored glasses for certain people in my life. Using that weird flashy light on your car, before you merge your turn. Edit. First Reddit Silver. Thank you. Driver BMW. Don't think it has this feature. Care to elaborate? It's the stick by the big wheelie thing that goes up and down. 
Makes a clicky clicky noise. Yup. Not there. Can confirm. I never realized what I was missing. Until I got with my current GF. It's being able to talk about bad stuff. I had a breakdown. And apologized for it. The first thing she told me is to please never apologize for feeling bad. It was such a special thing for me. And when I told people about this. They told me this is how it's supposed to be. Being able to feel bad. And not be afraid they'll be any less. In love with you because of it. My very first silver. I feel honored. Being polite and friendly when they see their exes. Even better, being polite and friendly with the ex they share parenting with. I've seen way too many people should talk the other parent in front of their kid or kids. Respecting boundaries without being told to respect them. The friendly guy having a normal conversation with you is often the better bet than the guy who is hitting on you. I'm blind so all the flags are just black. AHH makes sense. Wait a second. Bangladesh. Edit. I would have never expected this to get a gold, but thank you kind stranger.